Buell has been a legend when it comes to sports motorcycle enthusiasts. The soul of the company is American. Now let's just show those guys we can build something here in the U.S. that can only be made here. Buell, look at that move up and around the outside. I've been the racer that races because I've got to win, you know, I've got to prove something. It is a very emotional time for me right now, as I have to announce that the decision has been made that we will no longer be building Buell motorcycles. Everyone's mindset is that we were always going to be there, you know, and that was done. I do take that personally, that I fucked up. I love winning. I am an extremely competitive person. I had worked at Harley for four years, but was a sport bike guy and ex-national, and I wanted to build sport bikes. The first one we ever made was a Formula One race bike built out of my garage. That was the first thing that started the legend. The moment of that team, that rider, the bike that we built here in the hands of a rider is a tremendous success. Buell was a company I started back in 1983. Right here is the very first RW750, the first Buell bike that I built. Water cool two stroke, 165 horsepower, 300 pounds. Really, really fast for that era. Really, really unreliable. <laughs> we got a lot of notoriety, so then Harley bought into us. This is called a S1 Lightning. Harley always wanted us to show the engine off, so I finally said, you know what, why don't I just show nothing but engine, but I'll still keep the good suspension and the good brakes and the really good handling. So we built that first really radical street fighter. This bike sold thousands and thousands. So it was a madhouse just trying to build them. There was a lot of demand for them. Well, Buell was uh, ramping up with growth. Uh, over that time, we built about 140,000 bikes. For 2008, I believe we produced about 14,000 motorcycles. We have just under 200 full-time employees and about uh, 30 uh, part-time employees. And then the recession hit. We were shut down. It happened to be a Friday and the, the, when I learned that, the, that BMC was going to close. And it was, it was devastating. It was a huge shock to the whole community. You have 200 and some employees no longer going to the restaurants and gas stations and things like that. It was sickening. <laughs> uh, because it, was, it wasn't just me losing my job, it was me and 200 of my friends losing their jobs. We had just won a uh, national championship in uh, the AMA racing. We were excited at that time to be on a podium with a championship and then to have it kind of all come crumbling down. It was a shock to me and to everyone. They're part of the family. And so I couldn't imagine not trying to get, do everything I could to, uh, to put them back to work. The sign is still out front saying it's for lease, but I'm going to make that go away soon. The first project we have with uh, EBR is to build the 1190RS, a very high-end exotic next generation of bikes. Now we're in the process of setting up to do a more mainstream series of bikes based on the 1190RS. We're also going to make some changes to the vehicle to make it a little bit more adaptable to street riding. The, this, this is the race headers that I've been building. It's just a little more power than the headers that we had before, but horsepower is the key, you know. We found a few more horse with this header. The front wheel is different, brake rotor is modified. We have air cooling duct for the brakes. We have a different frame, different handlebars. The exhaust is different. Different rear brake rotor, different rear wheel. It's pretty much a new bike. He came back and said, you know what, we may have built a, a super bike that's actually too fast for the street. And that's been my goal for 12 years, was to build something where Eric finally came back and said it's too fast. 
And then we also have to industrialize this plant, put in the engine assembly line and get a lot of our logistics sorted out so that we can go into volume production early next year. In here we'll have the electrical lab for fuel injection and that sort of stuff. And then we'll have a large bed plate here with hydraulics on various components. So they would replicate what's happening on the road, but very, very fast and without having to ride it. My hope for the 1190RS is that it really puts us on the map as a high technology company that can compete with the rest of the world with performance motorcycles. It's easy to picture it all being put back together again. Not so easy to do it, though, you know. <laughs>